All right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, and a lot has happened uh, since I made my community event video yesterday. Uh, yesterday was all about how I don't think it was well set up, and even though I am curious to see the changes that are coming to the Elixir Quarter, uh, the way to do it, grinding out the same stuff we've always been doing, seemed very boring. However, some things happened. Uh, <laughs> A few different things have come up where we are now blazing through this event uh, at an absurd pace. We are at 250 million global treasure donated before 24 hours. Uh, when this first started, we were doing like a million an hour. And now we are through four stages of completion already. And the ultimate goal is 400 million. I do not think it will take longer than the end of the day to finish this. And what's going on is a few things. Um, first of all, they opened up a contribution where you can now donate some uh, planetary materials uh, in order to um, contribute to the overall treasure total. So if you have thousands of stacks of planetary mats, as some people do, each it's a one-to-one -one treasure uh, switchover. So that was enough to instantly get me to fill out uh, all of the um, remaining treasure I needed to get stuff like the ghost shell, which I have now unlocked. And um, so that grind does not exist, essentially. It, it was going to be like, oh, you got to do like 170 Widow's Walk runs to get all the coins, to get 2,600 coins or whatever. That is not a thing uh, because you can do that. Um, that made it a lot quicker. But uh, what people have discovered, as uh, Cheese Forever posted this, uh, Scarrow was posting about this, there is some sort of glitch with, I don't, I haven't even looked it up yet because like I don't care enough to do it, but it's something with, I believe, treasure map fragments where there was some way to infinitely dupe those. Uh, that has not normally really been a, a, an issue before because duping those infinitely will not really do all that much for you considering you need other forms of currency to even get stuff from Plunder. But now that those are donatable, the idea that you can just infinitely dupe those uh, and have a bunch of players doing that, that seems to be a primary reason that the numbers for this are shooting up so quickly. Uh, the next goal is 260,000, and what I've been doing is just kind of going in and out of orbits to get it to refresh every 15 minutes uh, to see what the next developments have been. Uh, we One thing that's been a bit of a letdown is we are four stages in, and... Uh, are you seeing uh, much of a difference here? Um, not really. Okay, so what has happened so far is the most interesting thing is that we have sweeper bots here, but not just any sweeper bots. Rasputin Seraph sweeper bots with his logo on them, heavily implying uh, that Rasputin may have something to do with the next season, which makes a lot of sense. I wrote a whole article about this. This little pixels thing here is binary code for the Copper Scrolls, which is a reference to the Dead Sea Scrolls, a specific one that was a treasure map. Binary code, again, probably indicates more Rasputin stuff, and we know Rasputin is one of the only entities, I think it's him and Sabathun, that know about Neomuna and the people on Neptune. So the first upgrade was, there's a couple sweeper bots around here now. They did things like, I think they put in some more railings and stuff. I don't think this was here before. It could be wrong but they like made this a little safer, I guess. Uh, the second upgrade is a slightly nicer bar here, which I don't remember what it looked like before, but I guess this is slightly nicer. The other stuff in here is not really changed. There's a wrecked spider guy here. Um, and then the third upgrade this is probably my favorite one. It's just a pile of spider, spiders random crap back here. Uh, if you're trying to read anything into this painting, this is just a painting that we've seen in the EDZ before. You see it on the way to the um, Lake of Shadows strike. I think it's just an Awoken or something. I, I don't know. But this is just literally a bunch of spiders crap. No Rasputin hints here. And then the fourth upgrade is... Uh, security guards. These are spider army security guards that are now posted here. Was this guy here before? I don't remember, but it was like security guard training was the thing they were talking about. Um, and so that is the first four upgrades. We now are working toward 
upgrade five, which is housing, and that is supposed to be over there. I am wondering if I will get to see this by the time I'm done recording this video, kind of going in and out, considering I just need 10 more million and this is going very, very quickly. Uh, maybe not, but as you can see, like the problem here is that this does not seem like this is probably going to be a major, major transformation of the Elixir quarter. Like just at a glance, it still looks like a bombed out piece of crap. Uh, and the stuff that is being added is relatively minor. Like as much as I appreciate the little Rasputin hints and things and that aspect of it is fun, I would be very surprised if they did anything that was like a, a full transformation. Like what I'm hoping to see here with this is like they build an actual whole building here and it's not just going to be like, okay, they put some cots out or something and that's housing, quote unquote, for this. Like, I really wanted to see this, like, rebuilt, like, replacing these entire, like, building things. Like, I, did, I, I didn't want, like, railings here. I wanted this to be, like, enclosed. Like, I, you know, maybe it, when we're, quote, clearing debris, we get rid of the rusting battle bus from the uh, Fortnite crossover. Or, uh, you know, these giant piles of crap and uh, things that are just everywhere here. Like, how is putting a bunch of spider crates in the back of the bar and upgrade like I don't I don't get that uh, I don't really understand that so I don't know really what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm not expecting any crazy giant transformations unless maybe they're planning one huge one for the very end uh, but I'm really just kind of looking out for um, uh, more hints about Rasputin and stuff even though uh, those are were pretty significant right up front there with the serif things and the, the binary code. I, if there's more than that, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. But those are the ones I've seen so far. All right, so they just upgraded again. So probably in the next batch, next 15 minutes, that will be ready. Uh, so I don't know. Like I, I was wrong in the sense that the grind for, like the personal stuff, the personal unlocks. Uh, is actually not bad because you can just instantly complete it either using this treasure map glitch or turning in planetary materials. So anyone who has amassed any amount of planetary materials can probably get all the way through uh, the tiers of upgrades instantly. Like I got, there's also, you know, it, it's vendor stuff. It's the two enhancement prisms, which you probably don't have room for, so you probably have to... Delete some or use some, and then a descendant shard, which I also had to upgrade something uh, to to take that into my stack of ten there because you can't claim it otherwise. Uh, and then, like, I I don't think there is like a quote unquote like final reward. Uh, one thing I did mention is we so we unlocked the ability to pay coins for uh, boxes. These boxes that can give you bright dust and eververse engrams and red frames. Unfortunately, the boxes are a thousand coins. So while this grind was able to be completed with treasure donations, including all this stuff, you have to use coins for this. And a thousand captain's coins is 20 catch crash runs or 20 expeditions or like 30 strikes. I, I don't know all the math, but like it is way too much for how it's like a chance at 200 bright dust or 150 bright dust or something like that. This is nothing like this is not you're not going to do a dedicated farm for this. It's just not going to happen. Um, so I just, that aspect is bad and has not really changed, even though you can get all this other stuff pretty easily now. Uh, so yeah, so this will be done probably by the end of the day. I don't know if I'll do a follow-up video on it tomorrow. I don't know if, if we finish it, if that triggers the cutscene that we know is coming or anything like that. Um, but we went from like, oh, is this going to be another, like, they have to reduce the goals thing to going in the other direction where uh, obviously we are going to be finishing this ridiculously quickly, probably so quickly Bungie can't even, like, hot fix something to stop this. And if I were them, I would just let us do our thing and finish this today if we want. Like, who cares? Whatever. It's fine. Don't make us wait the full two weeks. This is fine the way it is. So that's where we are. Um I don't know. I'll, I'll be posting about this on Twitter, about things that happen. So follow me there if you want more live updates. But I just wanted to check back in after yesterday. Weird event in many ways, but we're getting some maybe fun hints about the next season and stuff. So that's good. But 
Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.